Live shark finning is where the animal is pulled up onto the boat, the fins are removed, the animal is dumped back into the water, often while it's still alive, and it's left to drown, be eaten alive, or starve to death. Live shark finning is banned around Australia, however, we still do import shark fins from around the world, where live shark finning isn't very well regulated. So it's estimated that up to 100 million sharks are killed every single year and that 73% of these are killed for their fins, for shark fin soup. Sharks play a really important role in the ecosystem and you can't expect to take an apex predator out of an ecosystem and expect it to function the same way. In reef systems where there was an abundance of sharks, they actually found that there was a greater biodiversity and greater abundance of fish populations, as opposed to similar reef systems where sharks had been depleted by overfishing. Fin Free Soup is an initiative that I began about two years ago, and it involves restaurants displaying a logo that I created in their front window and that signifies to consumers that the restaurant doesn't sell shark fin soup and therefore doesn't support the shark fin trade. I think the main reaction has been surprise to be honest. Most people don't know that shark fin soup is actually sold here and how many restaurants are actually selling it. So there is a strong culture behind the dish and it's been around for many, many years. And so there's often a lot of pressure for it to be served at weddings and banquets uh, to show a sign of respect and to show your wealth or prosperity to the guests. The Fin Free Soup project actually started just out of my own interest and then I decided to build a website around the idea and to hopefully inform people and educate people about the issue. So really it's just about getting it out there and educating people about shark fin soup and Australia's role in the shark finning trade. I'd like to see legislation that bans the sale of shark fin soup, not just in WA, but throughout Australia. There's a number of other countries that have done this and I don't see any reason why Australia shouldn't be one of them.